okay so now we've successfully scaffolded our models so we will gonna try to run our program so first go to run and start debugging or press just press F5 to run it and let's wait for the terminal to finish compiling and debugging our code okay so right here our program successfully run and then this time we will gonna use our shapi model or the scaffolded models from our database so let's go to VS code this code and stop our program from running so first we, sh we will go to our startup.cs startup.cs and we will import this this package we will gonna type using Microsoft that entity framework core and then just press enter and next is we will go to our configure services method and we will inject our our Shopee context as a service so We will gonna add a service here on top of the add controllers with views. So we will type services services that add and no services that add db context and the name of the service shapi context like that and then close open bracket and then we will have an arrow syntax here so let's type options arrow syntax and then move it to the bottom and then so we will use this options that use no, that use my SQL. No, use my SQL. No, not user. Use my SQL. And then we will need two parameters, which is which we can get here in our Shopee context here so first we will remove this that warning so control X to remove it and here we need this code this server this one copy the information of our database and then For the for the second parameter needed, we will also get in a Shopee context right here. Copy the rest of it. Oh no, sorry. Copy. now with that successfully done so we're we're done on injecting our db context to our asp.net core pro application so now we can use the shopee context all over anywhere on our asp.net core program so let's 
save this or go to file save all okay and then let's try to build this one so go to the terminal and then dot net build to build our program <coughs> okay so always practice when when you change the code of your program always run dot net build to know where you have an error or if the build was success successfully something like that so right now successfully injecting close this one and <coughs> let's go to our we will use our home controller and we will get all the controllers on all the controls all the the list of store in our database so let's go back to our database to our PHP my admin okay let's go back here as you can see this is our database so when we go to our store our store have already a uh, already already have a uh, saved information inside it so we will so we will try to get all the records from the store table so okay so let's go back to our VS code to our VS code and we will use this privacy method so here first we will gonna put this code here so let's private read only Shopee context cause new context cause new Shopee context and we will inject this on our constructor home con constructor of our controller so we will use this Shopee context context and then context is called context and then here in privacy we can now use the context context that stores this stores this is our model stores stores that to list to get all the records on our stores and we will inject it in our view so you can create this var list of stores like that and put it here you could do something like that or you could do something like this copy this one copy and instead of list of stores you can put it here but but that's not the standard so we will gonna delete this and use this instead here okay so we'll go back we'll go to our views to our home folder and the privacy and so we will gonna put or set our model so add model so our model is list of stores so we will gonna use i enumerable to indicate we will gonna use enumerable, enumerable or many stores or list of stores so we will gonna direct it to the our store model so sample that models that store something like that and then we will use a for each loop for each and then here we will change the collection to model model 
and then let's put it on the table table tr and then th and then id and the other th and then store name like that move the closing tag of table here the bottom of the for each and then indent this so we can read it properly and then we will write tr tr and then have a th and then item that no. nope 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 sorry sorry at item dot id okay let's copy this again and then the next one is for the name name the name okay so save all so as a review oh no sorry save all yeah. so as a review we get the, li the list of store by using this link query link query so we will use link query and then put it on the variables list of stores and then pass the list of stores to our view and in our view we shape the model so our model is list of store and we will gonna use i enumerable store like that and for each loop you we will use for each loop inside the model and then to display the id and the name of the item or of the records from our database okay so okay so we will try to run this okay so now here it runs so we have successfully had the ID and the list of stores okay so our code successfully runs now and then let's go back to our VS code go back to our VS code so if you if you have observed we use the store not the plural one the singular one here the store name we only use store and when we query it as you can see using early query we use the plural form stores so why is that it's because in our Shopee context we use this the we use e ETT framework core and its default by making it DB set stores it automatically make the name plural so that is that is the reason why we use stores and when we try to get the list of categories so as you can see categories so right here it's also in plural form because in our Shopee context as you can see the DB set here the DB set of category we name it categories you can fix it by replacing it here that one category and then let's remove this certain code here and then save all or control K S okay sorry <laughs> sorry okay let's close the one and then let's go to back to the terminal and then that net build again okay successfully build and when we use this context that category as you can see it is not on plural form because we change it here so you could you could make it plural form any way you want 
so that you will not get confused easily by entity framework core okay that is all and on the next topic we will gonna learn how to add data to our database update data from our to our database and delete data from our database using link query and entity framework core okay that is all thank you bye